What's up, collective? What's going on with y'all? What's up? Y'all miss me? I miss y'all. What the fuck is going on, yo? I hope you all are enjoying your Wednesday. Happy hump day, y'all. Happy hump, humpty, 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 humpty day. <laughs> Let me stop fucking with y'all. What's up, collective? I'm in good spirits, positive vibes, feeling very uplifted, motivated, inspired, and feeling very energized, okay? Very happy-go-lucky. So I'm sending that positive energy your way. I hope that you guys are feeling the same. And if not, I'm hoping you feel better sooner rather than later. Sending y'all mad love. Thank you guys so much for all the well wishes, the nice emails. Thank you guys for the Venmos, the cash apps. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for rocking with me. Shout outs to all the new members of Patreon and OnlyFans. There are new messages that's posted on both platforms. So make sure you check that out. And if you're not a member, if you're not a subscriber, make sure that you go ahead over there, okay? It's uncut, it's raw, it's unfiltered. And all the readers that you see on there, you ain't gonna see none of that shit on here, okay? So keep that in mind. It's exclusive content. Exclusive. <laughs> Motherfucking exclusive, <laughs> all right? What's up, y'all? What is going on? I don't know why, but it feels like Friday to me. I think just because I had a really, really great day, um, today has just been straight vibes. Like, today has been vibes. Like, I've been out since early this morning, and, ha and it has just been straight fucking vibes, y'all. I really have been having a good time these past few days. And today just feel like fucking Friday to me for some reason. Okay, that's the mood I'm in. I'm in some, like, weekend type of energy. But happy Wednesday, okay? Happy motherfucking Wednesday, <laughs> Okay? what's up y'all what is going on let's get into the energy let's see what messages spirit has for y'all this is a general collective reading meaning everything you hear may not necessarily be for you please take only what you know is for you and leave the rest for somebody else out there everything you hear me say is not for you okay do not force it if it's not your message take what's for you and leave the rest okay if it don't apply let that shit motherfucking Flizz eye, okay? Let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. Leave that shit for somebody else. Don't be trying to force shit to fit unless you hear something really good and you're going to manifest that shit. Other than that, don't be trying to make everything fit if it's not for you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. But what's up, collective, man? We about to get into the energy, okay? We about to see what's going on. We about to see what messages spare has for y'all. Let me stop being so silly, though. I came on here on 10. I really did. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. Shit. Y'all know how it is sometimes. Y'all know how it could be. I feel like that's why y'all here too. Y'all be wanting to see me cut up. Shit. We have a good time on here. But all right, let's get into the messages. Let's see what's going on. All jokes aside, let's see what's going on. I'm going to actually pull from the modern witch deck. I haven't, I feel like I haven't used this deck in a minute. Okay, it's thunderstorming out there, child. I'm glad I've decided to stay my ass in the house because I was about to leave out. I was about to go back out. Like, I freshened up, and I was like, I'm about to go back out. And I was like, no, no, you're not. You're about to sit the fuck down. you about to sit down. Okay, that's what you about to do. you about to catch up on some readings. I got a personal to do as well. I was like, I'm about to catch up on some readings. Come on here, talk to y'all. I know it's been a few days. Okay, I got personals to finish, and I also want to catch up on power. So I was like, nah, I'm sitting my ass, I'm sitting my ass down. I ain't going back out. I ain't going back out in them streets. Ain't nothing in the streets for me, okay? I'm going to sit my ass home and get to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? What's up, y'all? What is going on? Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign, a Leo, or a Scorpio. We got the King of Pentacles here. We got the Sun card. We got the Death card. So somebody here could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Scorpio, or a Leo, or somebody could have that in the chart. You and them, both of y'all. But I'm getting strong earth, strong Leo, strong Scorpio energy off rip. Okay. What's up, y'all? Let's see. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective? I ask that you cover, shield, protect me as I channel this energy. Cover, shield, protect, and bless the viewers that are watching this for their highest good as well. Any negative energy being directed towards me, my channel, and all my viewers shall be reflected upon this rightful owner immediately. As that you block out any negative energies wanting to interfere with the delivery or the accuracy of this message. Father God, Holy Spirit, what is it that you have for the collective? The Hierophant just flipped over, y'all. Okay, so Taurus energy could also be significant. Again, that's Earth. And there we go with more Leo, the Sun card. Some of y'all very happy. 
okay? So y'all on the same type of time I'm on, child, because I'm so happy, baby, yeah, okay? I'm hearing Ashanti happy. Shout out to Ashanti. That's my birthday twin, okay? That is my Libra sis. We got the same birthday. I love me some Ashanti. But I'm channeling Ashanti happy, okay? When she say, don't come for me, y'all. I'm a little rusty, okay? I'm so happy, baby, yeah. Boy, you got me feeling so good, okay? Shit, you give me whatever it is I need. <laughs> Without you around, I couldn't be, I couldn't see. Like, <laughs> hold me down, nigga, hold a bitch down. Okay, but let me stop playing. We got the five of wands here, okay? Shout out to Ashanti, though. Y'all remember that song, Happy? I know y'all remember that shit. Run that shit the fuck back after you listen to that message, and I bet you it's going to put you in positive spirits, okay? That's an uplifting fucking song. All right, but we got the five of wands here. The five of pentacles reverse and the sun. So y'all are happy. The sun card came back out. You see how that you see how that shit just keep coming out. It don't matter how many times I shuffle, the sun is here to stay. Somebody mad that you happy, child? Yes, six of wands. Yes, five of wands is showing itself again. It's a queen of cups in the reverse. It's some hating ass water sign. This bitch could be a water sign. She could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, or somebody with strong water in a chart. Somebody here mad that you happy, collective. You straight chilling, you straight cooling, you vibing. You like, yo, what the fuck is up? What's the vibes? What's the 411, hun? Okay, you done done. Okay, for real, son. Like, I don't know. Y'all are in this high vibrating, happy energy. And this queen of swords, reverse queen of cups, this bitch is tight. Somebody here could be an air sign or a water sign. They could have strong air or water in a chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But somebody is pressed. They depressed. Somebody pressed. I'm hearing that this is somebody that admires you, but they jealous of you all at the same time. Like, where they do that? Ma'am, I'm going to need you to go seek therapy, okay? I'm going to need you to take your ass to therapy. Whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is Queen of Swords reverse. This is somebody that's hating on you, Queen of Wands. So, collective, whoever I'm talking to, y'all could be fire signs. Y'all could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you could have strong fire in your chart. But there's an air sign or a water sign that's hating on you. This person is depressed, and I'm hearing that they admire you, but they also jealous of you. Somebody here is jealous of how happy you are, how beautiful you are, how vibrant you are. It's like, damn, bitch, you's a real loser. Like, what happened in your life that you decided to just take that route and just say, fuck it, I'm gonna be a loser. I'm gonna just give up. I'm gonna just be a loser. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just hate on motherfuckers that's happy. Like, what happened in your life, sis, that you decided that was the route for you? Like, I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> like, somebody here is a fucking hater. They the goddamn devil. This bitch could be a Capricorn. Yo, why I just channeled my girl Unique. Shout out to Unique Tarot, okay? That's my sis. That's my Libra sis. I just heard Big Back. She be calling everybody and their mama a goddamn Big Back, okay? But somebody here could have a big bag. This could be a big bitch that's hating, you know. But, I mean, big, small, little, fat, tall, round. It don't matter. Confidence is confidence. But this is somebody that's just a hater. Shit, she could be small. It don't matter. Whoever this hoe is, she's mad. She's mad. This is a this is a distorted karmic feminine here. Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, and the goddamn devil. This is somebody that's just hating on your beauty, hating on how you shine, hating on how happy you are, how vibrant you are. Like, this is a silly hoe. This is a fucking cunt, okay? Somebody here could be a Pisces. They can have strong Pisces placements. Somebody here is very jealous of you. Like, it's like, girl, move around. Like, oh, no, collective. Y'all got motherfucking fans. That's how you know you on your shit. That's how you know you really doing it. You out here making moves. You know, that's how you really know. It's like, when you have this kind of energy and your, and your energy, well, not necessarily in your energy, right, but... These motherfuckers trying to be in your energy. But it's like when you got shit like this that come out and you see people that just be hating and shit like that, it's because you doing something right. Because you doing good things. You doing boss things. And I feel like whoever you are collective, you very attractive. Queen of Wands is somebody that's very attractive. And then with the sun coming out right next to you, it's like you got raw energy. Okay? And these sunflowers are like very significant too. It's like daughter of Oshun energy if I'm being really honest here. Some of y'all definitely got strong Leo placements. But it's like you vibrant. You beautiful, you glistening, you glowing, you are radiant, okay? It's something here about your skin just glowing. You just absolutely stunning. 
some of you could be wearing like gold jewelry or like the color yellow or just gold accessories you just absolutely beautiful man you're glowing like your light is like it's like motherfuckers can't stand it like it's just it be blinding people it's like you cannot ignore your light like the light that you carry is is so big it's so beautiful it's so bright um somebody here just mad you know that's all they mad they immature whoever this person is they going through some shit in their own personal life they going through a towel moment and this is somebody that's just looking over at you and seeing how peaceful you are temperance everything i'm saying is the truth ace of sports i can't make it up they see how like focused you are how beautiful you are how radiant you are somebody here could have even been trying to do beauty spells on you that shit is backfiring whoever this queen of cups in the reverse is queen of swords reverse this is somebody that's looking bad out here like this person could be looking bad like they could be looking sick okay like somebody here could be looking really sick in the face or something is going on with this person they could be aging rapidly like something is going on with this person i'm hearing that somebody could have bags under their eyes something going on with somebody's outer appearance their physical appearance it's like it's changing a lot like somebody here could have been hoping that you look different or you looked bad or no it's like you looking finer than fine some of y'all got really really beautiful eyes something significant about your eyes or your eyebrows yeah you guys are beautiful like and it's like you are so favored by god it's like boop -doo -doo, like you just giving me this energy like i'm on my little horse and i'm doing my thing you know i'm on my big horse or high horse you know as they would say but it's like you just on your horse and it's like you just celebrating and god is just blessing you shining his light on you you look like somebody that's making right the right choices in life you look like somebody that loves themselves you look like somebody that's making wise choices healthy decisions taking care of your body taking care of your health like you just look the fuck good y'all like whoever this message is for like whoo you out here looking good baby you stopping traffic out here okay motherfuckers is hitting parked cars all about looking at that ass okay like you fine fine you fine fine okay the two of cups just came out somebody want to heal something with you okay somebody here could be an aquarius they could have aquarius in a chart somebody here trying to come back around and heal something with you and that could be why this queen of swords reverse queen of cups reverse mad this could be why this heifer mad you know it's always a dusty dirty broad somewhere mad over a man that don't want them like that shit is sad but that's what it be that's really what it be there could be a distorted karmic feminine that's hating on you um queen of wands because there's somebody that want to come towards you and heal something yeah five of pentacles reverse two of cups like somebody here wants some sort of equal give and take with you the star card also speaks of healing energy i cannot make it up somebody from your past miss you okay six of cups and the knight of cups somebody here like listen will you listen to me will you talk to me will you just hear me out like you out here looking finer than fine and i can't take this shit no more like if you post one more motherfucking picture i'm gonna explode where i'm at you gotta say something to me okay bonita apple bomb you got it going on bonita bonita somebody name could be bonita somebody name could start with a b okay somebody name could start with an a somebody initials could be a or b b a something like that okay but i'm hearing bonita apple bomb you gotta put me on bonita apple bomb i said you gotta put me on bonita apple bomb you gotta put me on <laughs> okay like i'm really channeling that song no funny shit i heard that shit out of nowhere but with the six of cups and the knight of cups this person really miss you dog yeah two of cups they really want to be with you like somebody here could be a virgo they could have virgo in their charge somebody here like yo i i need you and here you here we got this karmic distorted bitch here okay that's hating i told you somebody here is hating that somebody missed y'all it's an empress in the reverse didn't i say she was a karmic this bitch showing up as all the queens in the in the reverse she's the queen of swords reverse the queen of cups reverse and the queen of pentacles reverse and the empress reverse like damn shorty you vibrating very low honey below sea level honey it's giving sea motherfucking shores okay like somebody here is vibrating extremely low she's tight because this man want to like talk to you i'm telling you like she's mad who is this empress in the reverse y'all who message is this who is this person this person is bitter is this this man's baby mama or what like somebody here is extremely fucking hurt like she's scorned 
Like, what happened between her and old dude? Like, she is, like, pressed about y'all. Like, you got this motherfucking world flipped upside down. Hers and his. His world flipped upside down because he can't wait to just even express his feelings for you. He think he about to explode. He about to pop. Especially if you post another fucking picture. There's something here about this man watching y'all secretly. He could be seeing pictures and shit you posting. This motherfucker is like, if you post one more picture, I'm going to explode. And she's like, I'm going to explode on you. I'm going to kill you. You know, like, she is angry. Like, this child's going on. She could be any sign. She's showing up as the queen of swords reversed, the queen of pentacles reversed, the queen of cups reversed, the empress reversed. Okay? She could be a water sign, an air sign, an earth sign. Whoever she is, she's tight. She's mad because she feel like this man is ghosting her and he want to give to you. I'm telling you, she could have even wanted to be a third party in this situation. Like, she know how this man feel about y'all. And she could have been willing to settle to be a third party. Like, she just want him around. She just want to have a piece of him. Like, even if it mean he going to invest in you, she just want to be somebody that get a little bit of his time. Like, this woman do not know her worth. She thirsty as fuck. She don't love herself. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that really need to take the time out to go heal. But instead of her taking the time out to check herself and heal, she just so busy checking up on what you doing, Collective, and checking up to see if this man that came towards you or not, is he with you? Do he want to be with you? Like, it's like she know he want to be with you, but she trying to see, like, is he bold enough to actually take action and make that move? It's like she know the motherfucker desire you, but she really trying to see, is he acting on these desires? And I feel like he is, he did, he's about to. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. Uh-huh, this man miss you. He said, I'm ready to speak on this shit. He said, I'm ready to tell you that I miss you. Yeah, they watching you. They both watching you. It's both of them. It's both of them. Spirit said it's both of these niggas. It's both of them. <laughs> okay, like it's both of them. It's him and her. They both watching you like shit. Well, I be down. You know? I'll be damned. You over there looking all right. <laughs> like, that's how somebody feels. Somebody said, you look all right. <laughs> somebody here looking at y'all collecting. They said, you look all right. <laughs> There's also a distorted karmic feminine here that's watching an emperor to see if they're going to invest in y'all. So this is just karmic, yo. This is just karmic veil. Look at this shit. We got a king and a queen of pentacles in verse, yo. Y'all got these karmics pressed. It's karmic masculines and karmic feminines that's behind the scenes stalking. It's like, mama, papa, why you got all them Instagram accounts, though? Why you got five fake profiles, my dude? Why do you have five fake profiles? Why are you trying extremely hard to scroll without double tapping? Why are you trying to watch somebody's story through a fake page, through a nail page, a hair page, an eyelash page? Like, I'm going to need you to get it together. I'm going to need you to fucking find you some business to tend to. Like, these karmics are pressed, and I'm telling you, they stalkers. That's what this is. This King of Cups reverse, this Queen of Cups reverse, King and Queen of Pentacles reverse. These motherfuckers are stalkers. These are karmics that, is, that are spying. It's like, it's a feminine energy that's pressed over you collective. There's a masculine energy here that's a karmic that's pressed over the emperor. It's like two fucking karmics pressed over two divine beings, a masculine and feminine energy. It's like, ill move. Go around, like, get around, move around. Like, pipe the fuck down. Like, God need to sit these motherfuckers out. He need to lay them out. He need to sit them down. Like, because whoever y'all are, y'all still getting y'all wish fulfillment. It's only a matter of motherfucking time. The will is turning in your favor. Big fortune type energy. We got the four of wands and the will of fortune right behind that shit. Some of y'all could be seeing 818, 888. It's a lot of abundance and harmony here. And balance. I'm hearing abundance, balance, and harmony. I'm hearing a lot of eights. Some of y'all seeing 888, 808, 818. Some of y'all seeing 118, 1111, 111. Yeah, shit is popping off for y'all. Like, for real, I'm also hearing 7-Eleven. Something significant about 7-Eleven. Some of y'all could be seeing angel number 7-Eleven. Some of y'all could be drinking the motherfucking Slurpees from 7-Eleven. I think they still got them shits, right? Something significant about either going to 7-Eleven, seeing angel number 7-Eleven, or even listening to that song by Beyonce. 7-Eleven, man, seven twice. Yeah, seven twice. Girl, I'm trying to kick it with you, okay? 
I kicks it with you. <laughs> like, I'm trying to kick it with you. This person trying to kick it with you. Should your emperor trying to kick big shit? He trying to kick it with you. Okay, your empress and your energy. Okay, collective queen of wands, baby. Your empress and your energy. He like, I'm trying to kick it with you. And these comics is like, oh my God, are they together? What's going on? What you saw? I seen the same shit you see. I don't miss nothing. I watch every motherfucking thing this bitch posts. I ain't see him, but you ain't look good enough. Did you see a shadow? Did you see a watch? Did you see a wrist? Did you see a cuff ring? Did you see a shoe in the background? Like you ain't looking hard enough. Is they alone? Are they with each other? Have they worked together or not? Are they on a date? Like what's going on where they at? Like these karmics are like watching to see if an emperor and an empress have come together. I promise you. Because motherfuckers done closed out the cycle with they crazy asses. This masculine could have left this karmic feminine behind. He has shut the door on this shit. He has closed the cycle out. And same goes for y'all collective. Y'all closed the cycle out with these karmic um, lovers here. Karmic family, karmic friends. I just feel like all the karmics have been completely removed from a lot of divine beings life. Okay, cheers to that shit. And it's like you leveling the fuck up. I cannot make it up. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is leveling up. This is boss the fuck up. Draped out, drip, dripped up. Okay. Still tipping on Vovos. <laughs> like real shit. Like you fucking tipping, you dripping. <laughs> okay, on Vovos. <laughs> like it's something here about you just being boss the fuck up i cannot make it up y'all going from the nine of cups to the ten of cups like spirit come through this is emotional fulfillment on all levels you are super independent somebody here could be a virgi verb somebody here could be a virgo you have strong virgo placements yes nine of cups to the fucking nine of pentacles emotionally stable grounded independent balanced harmonious like i said earlier nine of pentacles taking good care of yourself smelling good and shit looking good feeling good ten of cups is out this bitch like you building a family with a king of wands and emperor your person is fine as fuck y'all match each other we got the emperor and the king of wands here both in the upright and then we had you show out first you popped out first as the queen of wands like y'all fine as fuck it don't make no sense how fucking fine y'all are like this shit is crazy like the same way motherfuckers be breaking their neck looking at you motherfuckers be breaking their neck looking at this man too it's like damn y'all both fine as fuck it's like, damn, God light shining on a both of y'all. Like, y'all got skin made of fucking gold. Y'all got gold in y'all skin type shit. I'm telling you, like, people press because y'all about to be working together. Yo, this emperor is about to invest in you if they haven't already. I cannot make this shit up. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of, Eight of Pentacles. This person is like, yo, I'm about to put in the hard work. I'm about to be with this person. We about to run it the fuck up together. We about to get to this fucking paper. We about to get to this bag. I done cut all these dumb holes off. Yeah, this person is ready to commit. Somebody here, Emperor done went through an awakening, child. Somebody here's DM done went through a whole fucking awakening behind the scenes. And this person is fully tapped into their Emperor energy. And they come in to fucking set the record straight. They come in to set the record straight. Like, this person is coming to wax that ass, set the record straight, and run it the fuck up with you. I promise you, this person is holding on to you tight. They do not want to let go. And it's like this person do have the courage to actually make moves on these feelings. Because that's what I was seeing here. It's like this karmic, distorted feminine, whoever this Empress Reverse is, she know that this person want to be with you and it's upsetting her. But she just hoping that she could affect his confidence where he don't actually take action. So it's like, okay, motherfucker, you desiring this person, but you just suffering low key. You just suffering in silence. You too prideful or you too arrogant or you just going, you too pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you too insecure to actually take action. You, you just in your feelings, you got a point to prove, you know, it's like, why don't you just wait on that person? Like somebody here is playing with somebody fucking emotions, or at least that's what they was doing. At least that's what they trying to still do, but it's not working anymore. Whoever this masculine is, they have went through a full blown awakening and they got their confidence. They like, yo, fuck all that arrogant shit. Fuck all that tit, that, that tit for tat shit. Fuck all that waiting, that insecure shit. I know who my person is. I know who I want. I feel very strong about this. God is putting it on my heart. 
to make these moves, to make this gesture. I'm about to do this shit. This person, like, I'm finna do this. I'm finna do it, <laughs> okay? Like, somebody here want this person to be blocked, stuck, trapped, to block you. Like, somebody here is cause, trying to cause major blockages for a twin flame connection. Somebody here is depressed because they want them to stay with their karmic ass. Somebody here is trying to trap somebody. Calm for fucking mention. Y'all hear that honking? Somebody here trying to trap somebody's twin flame to bind them, to block them. This could be a cancer doing this shit or a Gemini. Or somebody was showing cancer or Gemini in their chart. Somebody here could also be a Capricorn. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers is working extra fucking hard to like block somebody's um, twin from them, to keep somebody's twin from going towards them, to keep a twin flame connection separated. It's like, uh-uh, y'all better stop playing with them divine unions, baby. Y'all motherfuckers have not learned yet that the karma attached to fucking with divine unions is sometimes fatal. Like, bro, that shit is not worth it. I don't fuck who come together, who together. What, it, what, it, what difference does it make? Like, who gives a fuck? Life goes on. Move around. Get you some business, cuz. Like, these people don't lost their goddamn minds. They must not know. Motherfuckers must think they above spiritual law out these streets. Like, out here, these motherfuckers got the game fucked up. They got it twisted. These motherfuckers got it twisted. I'm telling you. Because they're going to be singing a different tune with God really light that fire up under their ass. Because I'm telling you, somebody here is working extremely hard to um, manipulate energy to keep a twin flame connection and separation. Yes, some of y'all could be seeing angel number 222. I'm telling you, y'all coming together and somebody here is like really trying to get this person to walk away from you or to get this person, to get you to walk away from this person. But somebody here is just mad about finances. What these karmics are upset about, it's not even more, it's, it's you being happy too. Like don't, 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 you know. Don't ignore that. Like, we all know it's about you being happy. That really got them irritated. They don't want to see you happy. But it's really about some sort of finances here. It's like you and this person are running it up. Y'all get into y'all spiritual inheritance together. You guys got like a big inheritance attached to one another. Like, it's a part of your divine contract, your sacred union, your bond. And it's like, that's why they're trying to keep y'all separated. It's like, motherfuckers can't watch you and them together run it up. No, it's their worst nightmare, you know? Like, somebody here is really fucking concerned about your love life, your finances, who's your twin. Like, somebody here is obsessed with your twin flame journey. Somebody here more concerned about your twin flame journey than you are. I promise you, these motherfucking karmics are more concerned about your motherfucking twin flame journey than you. I promise you. These motherfuckers eat, sleep, think, dream, breathe your motherfucking twin flame journey. Like, they're obsessed with this shit. They're obsessed with watching you, with watching this person to see if they want you, to see if you still want them, to see if they coming back, to see if you're going to take them back. It's like, yo, what? You ain't got nothing else to focus on. You ain't got nothing else to invest in. You ain't got nothing else to do with your time. Time is so valuable. It's so precious. You cannot get it back. You ain't got nothing to do with your time but to obsess over two motherfuckers that's going to be together anyway. Because whoever y'all are, y'all coming together. God is making it so y'all come together. So it's like, just imagine you wasting all that time of your fucking personal life to watch somebody else shit, to block somebody else shit, to try to stop somebody else shit. Whatever this is, collective, this is faded, it's destined. Because you got to remember the Wheel of Fortune came out too. Wheel of Fortune speaks of faded events occurring, something that's destined to happen. This is a destined partnership here. This shit's still going to happen. It ain't nothing anybody could do about it. If you mad, you just going to be mad, bro. You just going to be, you just going to have to be mad then. Like somebody here is super mad. I feel like somebody, I feel like one of these motherfuckers got a cape on. They have to have bought a cape. Somebody here purchased a cape because I'm telling you, somebody here is super mad. Okay, they just waiting for the perfect time to strike. Yeah, three of wands here, five of swords. These motherfuckers is gossiping. They wait on the perfect time to strike. Like somebody here could even be wanting to contact some of y'all to tell y'all some lies about your person to get you to like back away from them. Like let's just say you and this person come together. It's like somebody here is still going to be working behind the scenes to cause like 
disruption. Like it's something here about somebody wanting to disrupt the peace that you have or the peace that you and this person are gonna have together. Like somebody here just wanna cause some sort of disturbance. So it's like, they just wanna get you two to argue. It's like somebody here trying to manipulate energy to just get you two to argue about stupid shit. It could be the dumbest shit, but it's like, just argue. Like somebody here wants to lower the vibration of your divine union and it's just simply not happening. You have went through your awakening, so has this person. And I don't give a fuck how recent their awakening must have been. At the end of the day, they still, doing the inner work they still went through their awakening they still answered the call this is somebody that's showing up for you a, a true divine masculine these karmics is livid when i tell you baby oh baby oh they so mad oh baby they so mad oh they mad you know what what you gonna do not a motherfucking thing. What they going to do? Not a motherfucking thing. Like, they ain't going to do shit. Y'all about to run it up. I'm telling you. That's what this is. That done came out. That's what I'm reading, child. I know what I'm seeing. Y'all about to run it up. And this got somebody, like, very nervous. It's like somebody here knows it's happening. They peeking. They looking. And it's like, the more happy you are, the more beautiful you are, somebody's just like, oh my God, no. Because somebody here could have been trying to affect the way you look so that you won't appeal to this person no more. But somebody here don't understand that this shit be real fucking love, like on a soul level. It be some unconditional shit. So it's like, even though, even though you're trying to change the way somebody look, let's just say somebody appearance did change a little bit. Either you or your masculines or both of you. It's still not going to change the love that you two share, the love that you have for one another. This is something that's very rare. It's very rare, but it's real, it's raw, and it's free. You know, it's like the love is unconditional, heavy emphasis on unconditional. So it's on some, it don't matter what you look like, if you growing old, if you got gray hair, if you this, shit that. I don't care about none of that shit. I fell in love with you, who you are as a person. I fell in love with your soul. You know, it's really giving that energy. This is a beautiful love. This is the kind of love that everybody should be aspiring to like receive to. So everybody should be aspiring to be at such a high vibration to actually attract something like this. Like this is magical. That's why these karmics are pressed. These motherfuckers are suicidal over this connection. Like, boy, girl, baby. Do not kill yourself because two people are coming together. You are losing me, bro. Yeah, four of wands here. Like, these comments is losing me. Like, there's a king of cups in the reverse here that could be suicidal in particular. That's, like, really seeing it's seeing shit, hearing shit. This person could be hallucinating. This could be due to some sort of spell work backfiring. Yeah, something backfiring on the king of cups in the reverse. This person could be going through it the most. And this person is still on demon time. It's like you still ain't learned. You could be hearing, this motherfucker could be hearing voices, seeing shit, all types of shit. And it's like they still on demon time. Like, yo, the devil about to just take this motherfucker at this point. Like, yo, like, like just, let's just go. Like, you're wild. And, like, this person done wild out. And this person is, like, stalking behind the scenes, watching you, watching your emperor. It's like, move up. Like, one of these karmics is like a gnat that just won't go away. Like, I feel that shit. Like, it's like, just move. Like, just please. Like, relocate. Why don't you go over fucking seas, my 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 my, my nigga. Like, just move somewhere far away, off the grid. Like, just get away from me. Like, that's y'all energy. Oh, them karmics is annoying, baby. I was not expecting this kind of energy to come out tonight. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. I just knew I was in a really, really good mood. And I haven't spoken to y'all in a while. So I was like, let me pop on in on here. But I did not know this reading was going to be based off of just karmic energies, being suicidal due to spell work, backfiring, and just looking for anything and everything to dislike about somebody. Like, yo, move around. Like, motherfuckers be haters. Old haters at that too, like too old to be acting the way y'all acting, like oh baby, let me tell you, like motherfuckers be trash.
Damn, what messages do you have for the collective? I told y'all Virgo energy was significant. Did I not say that? Somebody here could definitely be a Virgi Virg. Somebody here could be a Virgo U of them collective. Okay, but I told y'all earlier Virgo energy was significant. Somebody here could be very clean, very beautiful, maybe borderline OCD. Like somebody here loves to keep a clean house, very well kept, very put together, great hygiene type shit. Yeah, you got somebody that's very jealous of your light. Somebody here wants to dim your light. Somebody here don't want you to seem as someone that's protected, covered, blessed, highly favored. Somebody that is of the light, somebody that is of God. Like somebody here is trying to make you appear to the outside world, to everybody that you the complete opposite. It's like, please do not ever look at this person as the angel that they truly are. And somebody's doing this because they're a fucking coward. Like at the end of the day, you're a whole coward. And what makes you, what makes it a thousand times worse is that you're a man or you call yourself a man. You identify as a male. Yeah. Like this is a male here that's hating on a woman. This is a straight bitch, if you ask me. Like whoever you are collective, you know who you are. You're beginning to realize who you are. And your person is realizing who you are to them and vice versa. We got a spiritual partnership here in the upright. Not only have y'all gotten to know yourselves better on a soul level, it's like because y'all learning y'all souls and y'all here growing, y'all elevating, it's like y'all finding y'all way back to each other because y'all actually share a soul. Like it's very powerful what's going on here. Yes, you and this person are mirroring each other. I cannot make this shit up. This is a twin flame connection that this message is about. This is a spiritual partnership that this shit is about. I'm telling you, y'all are mirroring each other. You done had your awakening. This person is going through this. You done did this. They done did that. You thinking this. They thinking that. You wanting this. They wanting that. Baby, I'm going to take some action. Come the fuck on. Like, it's really that energy. Like, I'm ready. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Like, let's get this shit together. Like, let's do this. Y'all are mirroring somebody. This is a powerful, powerful, beautiful love here. Yes. And the way others view y'all is none of y'all business. I feel like neither one of y'all give a fuck. Like, let's be completely honest. I feel like this person don't give a fuck. I feel like you don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm happy with you. You are all I want. You are all I want to be with. You are the only person I want to be with. Excuse me. You are all I have eyes for. Like, it's just really giving that energy. This is your karmic justice, Libra. Okay, we got Libra energy in the building. All right, with the justice. Some of y'all could definitely be Libras. Your person could be a Libra. They could have Libra in their chart. You could have Libra in your chart. Take it as it resonate, okay? But I'm telling you, it's a lot of stability here. A lot of happiness here. Somebody is ready to move forward with a person. And it ain't shit a karmic gonna do about it. Like, these karmics are pressed. Y'all hear that? That's how they press. Somebody here gonna even go into cardiac arrest, bitch. Okay, somebody here could be having chest pains. Somebody here could be um having issues with asthma, anxiety. Somebody here could be feeling some tightening in their chest and shit. Like, child. Okay, like somebody here gonna pop a motherfucking vessel. They gonna pop a, they gonna do something. Somebody here really gonna hurt. When I tell you somebody here is hurting, it's like this emotional pain is causing a physical ailment for somebody. Like somebody here is making themselves physically sick by how sad and how down they are. This is, this is sad. This is, this is really sad. Like I wasn't expecting this movie to be sad. Like, oh child, it's very dark. It's very sad. But anyways that's pretty much what's going on here y'all know if this is y'all message or not but just know that you getting justice in a situation right even though we ain't supposed to be eating like listen you getting justice in the situation i just got a download and i was about to say something but spirit just cut me off they said uh-uh they said don't say everything <laughs> I'm like, all right just know y'all winning okay and your person is winning too and with mirror effect coming out right behind spiritual partnership you and this person are definitely on the same path. Y'all definitely marrying one another. They healing, you healing. You making better choices, they making better choices. You want them, they want you. Like, it's just really giving, like, it's a, it's a, it's just, y'all coincide beautifully. Y'all complement each other very well. This is the missing, this is the missing piece to your puzzle. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is what's happening. This is what's coming together. You and the missing piece of your puzzle. You found them, they found you. Okay, it's giving magic, it's giving sexy, it's giving I love you, it's getting will you be my wifey, yes I'll be your wifey, okay, it's giving 
you everything I need and more. You are my lady, okay? You are my lady. You're everything I need and more. Okay, that's what somebody feel about y'all. God damn it, baby. Baby, let me tell you, baby, 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 let me tell you. <laughs> Like somebody here love y'all They really do I could feel the love in this message I wasn't even expecting to get no lovey message like this But child I'm happy that I did This make me feel even more uplifted I love this loving energy Y'all got love all around y'all I'm telling you even if you're not With this person technically speaking Like right now for some of you You feel this person in your energy You feel your emperor You see the signs You see the synchronicities You get in the downloads You having the dreams You get in the messages It's like y'all know that this person is right there They're in your energy They like baby I love you You like I know I love you too I love you Jody <laughs> Like somebody here in love child Yes we got 777444 That could be your person's numbers That could be your numbers Somebody here could definitely be seeing angel number 444. Somebody here could definitely be seeing 777. And we got 4104 on the clock as I say that. Somebody seeing a lot of fours. Somebody seeing a lot of sevens. Okay, some of y'all seeing 717, 777, 444. Some of y'all seeing 414. But it's just giving like, oh my God. It's giving, oh my God. This love is protected. Here we go with more fours and more fours. God damn it. It's all about the fours. It's all about the fours. Like it's all about the goddamn motherfucking fours. Like somebody's numbers are definitely fours. Somebody here could be born in April as well. You or your person, 4144 on the clock. As I say this shit, tap the fuck in. We are aligned, baby. We vibing high on this side, baby. I promise you. My motherfucking feet ain't been on the ground in like the in the uh, the past month or so. I'm telling you. Since May, my motherfucking shoes been scraping the sky in this bitch. Like, I'm vibing extra high, bro. Like, this shit is crazy. I'm so happy, bro. Even when I exercise, it feel like my, my feet floating on the fucking treadmill. It don't even feel like my feet be touching that bitch. <laughs> like, I am so happy, y'all. And this is the energy that y'all been feeling. And guess what? With all these fours, this is so much protection. Like, literally, your energy is being protected right now. Your peace, your harmony, your balance is all being protected. Like, you are harmonious. You are balanced. Is all being protected. I'm hearing your happiness and your peace is being protected. God is protecting your energy, baby. And they protecting your person energy. And I'm telling you, somebody's seeing a lot of fours. Somebody here could be born on the 14th of a month, the 4th of a month. Somebody here could be a life path number four. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of fours, man. Some of y'all seeing sevens as well. But I'm telling you, somebody's birthday could be in April. Okay, I'm just heard somebody could be born in 74, but somebody here could be born in April. Somebody here could be an Aries or a Taurus, you or them. Child, I'm telling you, if a, like all the fours don't fucking come out, man, what we missing? 44. That's it. If 44 come out, I'm just flatline in this month. Okay, we got 444, 44, 44, 41, 41. Okay, it says habit, triumph, protection. Okay, let me put all the fours in the middle. Somebody's favorite color could be purple. Somebody's favorite color could be orange or green. Somebody here could be wearing green, orange, or purple. Okay, but yes, we got 717 and 777. Like, god damn, y'all. Shit. The fuck? Come through with the protection. I feel like don't, I feel like ain't shit touching neither one of y'all. You and your twin, you and your person could be both being spiritually attacked right now, quote unquote. That shit ain't hitting them. It ain't hitting you. Ain't shit touching neither one of y'all. 44, 14 on the clock as I say that shit. Ain't nothing touching your person. Ain't nothing touching you. That shit just gliding off y'all motherfuckers. Y'all just out here with y'all motherfucking gear on. Okay? Y'all got y'all armor on. And that shit is like spicky span. Okay? That shit is silky. It's shining bright. Is all you out? Is laced out, dripped out, draped up? 
Like shit just gliding off your ass. Y'all motherfucking gladiators. <laughs> like <laughs> collective, y'all know I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all motherfucking gladiators. Y'all leveling up together. Here we go with more fucking fours, bro. Yo, your person y'all know if this is your message or not. Because these synchronicities is it's it's insane at this point. Look what done came out, y'all. More fours and more motherfucking ones. Some of y'all seeing 11, 11, 111, a lot of fours, a lot of ones. We got 1144 and then we got 1414. 14. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, why is spirit playing right now? Like, what? 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 <laughs> okay. 1144. 14, 14, 41, 41, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Well, goddamn, tap that shit on your motherfucking chest so God know it's real. Somebody here needs to get angel number 444 4, 4, tatted on them. Like right now, you, your person, both of you, y'all need to get matching tattoos of fucking 444 because that's y'all numbers. I'm hearing that y'all motherfuckers is the untouchables, the unstoppables. I promise you, whoever this message is for, you and your person are both being spiritually attacked right now, and y'all motherfuckers just gliding through the shit, just gliding through the wind, okay, sun glistening off your skin, hey, okay, like y'all just gliding, I'm telling y'all, y'all just gliding, happier than a motherfucker, just smiling and just shining, and God just blessing you, God just shining his light on you, your teeth just whiter than a bitch, your smile is bright, your ass is fat, it's tight. Like, it's just giving your, your feeling right. Okay? The fuck? It's like motherfuckers attacking you and you walking out looking like a million dollars. Motherfuckers be watching, waiting to see you come out looking fucked up. You come out looking like a million dollars. You come out smelling like money in this bitch. Motherfuckers is like, well, we just did a death spell last night. This bitch got on some new J's. He got on some new J's today. This bitch got on some new red bottoms. Like, I don't know. It's really giving that though. Like people are attacking y'all and they're watching to see if it's having an effect and it's not. If anything, it's like you're getting better. As they're watching, you're getting better right before their eyes. It's like, how is this shit possible that this motherfucker is getting better? How is it possible that she's getting better? Like what type of sorcery is this? Motherfuckers want to know what you doing. You got the magic sauce. You got the magic fucking potions. You got the answers to life, dog. <laughs> like, that's how motherfuckers feel about you and your person. When, I, when you and this person come together, y'all motherfuckers might as well just transform the world. Like, y'all motherfuckers just going to be healing people, just touching people, bringing their eyesight back, just helping the babies, helping the people that's starving, helping, like, it's giving humanitarian vibes, it's giving two healers coming together, healing the fucking world, let me explain something to y'all, God just told me that as these divine unions come together, the vibration of the world is going to be raised, the vibration of the fucking world is going to be raised as these divine unions are coming together because y'all are literally shifting the vibration of the world. Like, this shit is deep, bro. Like, it's God putting it on my heart to say that. But we about to get into all these motherfucking fours in a minute, <laughs> all right? We about to read this shit, boy, because this is crazy. 4144, no, 4141. 4444, 444, 1144, 1414. Like, what the fuck? Okay? The fuck? Somebody's birthday could be January 14th. Somebody's birthday could be April 11th, April 14th, April 4th, January 4th. Okay? Somebody here, life path number could be four. Like I said, somebody could be born in April. Somebody here could be born on the 4th or the 14th of any month. You or your person. Somebody here could also be born on the 17th or the 7th of any month. Some of y'all seeing a lot of fours, a lot of sevens. I promise you. And a lot of ones. 777, 717, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41
do 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 45 47 <laughs> baby oh when i tell y'all i am being silly child this is how i've been this is literally how i've been your girl is feeling like pure magic on this end i promise y'all like oh this vibe is crazy this energy is crazy oh this feels so crazy and oh this love is blazing uh, and baby we're so high Walking on cloud nine, you got me up so high. You got me up so high. My shoes are scraping the sky. Okay, that's John Legend, baby. Shout out to John Legend. He's a Capricorn too, I think. I believe. Yeah, but John, somebody he could be a Capricorn that this message is for. But I'm hearing John Legend so high. Okay. My shoes are scraping the sky, baby. We can't get much closer to God than we are. Let's go to a place only lovers go. To a spot that we never know. To the top of the clouds, we're floating away. And oh, it feels so crazy. And oh, this love is blazing. And baby, we're so high. Walking on cloud nine. You got me up so high. That's what happened when God set you up with somebody. Baby, when God set you up with somebody, that person gonna have you high as fuck, high off life. Together, we are one, baby. You make me better. See, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Baby, I'm good all by myself, but baby, you, you make me better. You make me better. Skip, skip, a bit better. Oh, 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 <laughs> All right, shit. This is that kind of love. This shit is to it's intoxicating. It's intoxicating. This shit is liberating. This shit is groundbreaking. It's extraordinary. This is a godly union, a sacred union, a divine union, your kingdom spouse. God got his hand on this shit. He done blessed this. He blessed this person. He blessed you. He has anointed this person. He has anointed you. This is God's doing. This shit is incredible. It's incredible. It's magical. This person is like, whoo, baby, I can see the motherfucking moon and the stars and the sun shine and set in your ass, daddy. Like, it's really giving that energy. Like, God damn it, daddy. You, you the world, baby. You the king. Okay? Like, this is somebody that's going to talk to God about loving you better, loving you correctly. This is somebody that's going to pray with you, pray with you, okay? The man and woman that y'all praying for is going to be the man and woman that y'all begin to pray with. God is bringing them in. Can I get an amen? Can I get an ashe? Okay. Anyways, we got 777. It says luck, okay? You's a lucky motherfucker. But it says consider this a loving reminder that you are not alone. You are not alone. <laughs> I am here with you. Okay, this person is not. First of all, like I said, for those of you that haven't actually come together yet, understand that you not alone, they not alone. They they right with you. Your person is with you, child. Y'all already married in the ethers. Okay, that's why you can't stop thinking about this motherfucker. This person manifesting your ass right now and vice versa. But we got 777. It says, consider this a loving reminder that you are not alone, okay? It says, you are connected to the vastness of the cosmos, to the higher realms. Focus on your spiritual side. What practices bring you peace? How are you moving towards greater expansion, greater awareness? However you're incorporating growth into your life, make sure you're doing it with consistency. When your energy is regularly tuned to the frequency of awareness, you are attracting more of the same from the universe, period. 
okay? It says expanding your horizons, learning, cultivating consistency in your daily habits, tuning into your spiritual side, abundance of luck is entering your life, bro, okay, sis? And your affirmation says, I'm attracting magic with each and every breath. Every breath you take, every step you make, you getting closer to God, child. It says you are attracting magic with each and every breath. All right, then say that shit then. Say that shit with your chest, okay? Say God is taking care of it all. I'm just out here vibrating this. I'm just vibrating high. And God is taking care of everything for me. Like, period. That's how y'all got to feel. That's how y'all got to think. That's what y'all got to believe. You got to know that shit. You got to be brave. Okay? We got 717. It says bravery. Okay? I feel like motherfuckers sending y'all the evil eye, but that shit going blind. Motherfuckers is choking on their words. They got to eat that shit. Whatever somebody is trying to manifest in your life when it comes to blockages and hardships and obstacles and trauma and pain and hurt and loss and grief and sorrow and depression and bad health. Any motherfucking thing that somebody's wishing on y'all that's horrible, they going to fucking live that shit. They going to actually live that shit. God said he granting everybody wishes at this point. That's what he told me. He God told me that shit the other night. He was like, I'm grand. Everybody wishes. Your enemies, I'm granting their wishes too. It's just not going to happen to you, baby. It's going to happen to them. I said, shit. Well, all right then. Now we're talking. Now we getting somewhere, Lord. Because I was trying to figure out what you was going to do. You just going to let these motherfuckers be out here like that? You see what I see? I know you see what I see. He said, man, listen. You better sit still. Okay? You better sit still and watch me work. I said, shit, well, you need to work a little bit faster, Lord. But then I said, you know what? When you, when God got you waiting, right? Trust and believe that it's for good reason. You wait different when you know God is always on time. <laughs> okay, can I get an amen? So I'm telling y'all, I'll be like, Lord, hurry up. And then I'll be thinking, I'll be like, child, you can't rush greatness. You know God always on time. Might not be your motherfucking time, but he on time. Okay, trust in divine time and trust in God's plan, trust in the Lord's timing. But anyways, we got 717 bravery, all right? It says, have you been questioning whether you're headed in the right direction? Okay, Jow. It says, if you're following your intuition, the universe answer to that is an empath empathic yes, okay? It says, you will never be sent something you don't have the capacity to handle. Those challenges, you never know until you get to the other side exactly what they were guiding you towards. Face down your fears with trust in your heart. It says this is a message that you're on the right track. You're being guided towards unseen opportunities. You're in tune with your spiritual side. You're choosing trust over fear, even when it's difficult, okay? And your affirmation says, everywhere I go, I prosper, period. Okay, everywhere I go, I prosper. Everywhere I go, I prosper. What, what? Everywhere I go, I prosper. <laughs> Everywhere you go, collective, you straight prospering. Can I get one for prosperity? Okay. Can I get a drum roll for the motherfucking prosperity in this bitch? Okay, we got 4141 habit. Okay, it says it's time to take a moment to reflect on why you're doing what you do. Are you working towards joy? Shit, I know I am. The fuck? It says, are you working towards joy, collective? Ask yourself that. It says, or are you simply working to work? <sighs> okay? Some of y'all said, shit, I'm working to pay these motherfucking bills. But you need to incorporate happiness, all right, <laughs> into that shit, for real. It says, or are you simply working to work? It says, your purpose here on this planet is much greater than being just another cog in the machine. Okay, break that habit of monotone. What it says? Break that habit. I don't know what this say. I think this is a typo because damn it, I know how to read. But basically, it's just saying to break the habit of old patterns and like being um, what is it? What are they trying to say? The mundane. Okay, like being boring, same shit, different day. That type of energy. Like they want y'all to um, basically this angel number is saying trust that it's safe for you to have fun and still be successful to still get things done okay don't be all work no play don't be a robot don't be a machine don't burn yourself out enjoy and live a little okay like that's basically what this shit is saying 
but it says start new routines that allow you to invest in your own well-being you know so the same way you pour into others you need to pour into yourself of course that goes without saying right you can't be any good to anybody else if you ain't good for yourself you gotta get your shit right in order to help another motherfucker out but also collective i want to tell y'all too like god is putting on my heart right now those of you that actually work for somebody else or you assist somebody else with their dreams right you work for a company whatever it's like you making somebody else a fortune you supporting somebody else's dream by working for them make sure that you taking time out to invest in your own shit so if you got a nine to five that's cool but make sure outside of that nine to five you taking some time out to do your own thing you know invest in your own dreams don't give up on your own dreams because you burning out and you working for somebody else hell no nah. you know what i'm saying put that same effort that you put into working for somebody else into yourself baby into what it is you like to do okay but it says routines and habits some of y'all are getting better habits y'all establishing healthier habits in your lives healthier routines or maybe just habits and routines that actually allow your inner child to play okay that's what i'm getting from this but it says you're re-evaluating where you place your energy. Yeah, y'all being very selective of who y'all give y'all time and energy to. It says you breaking negative patterns. And there's motivation and inspiration in alignment with you. You feeling motivated. You feeling inspired. Don't I say that shit every time I get on here? I be like, I hope y'all feeling motivated. Hope y'all feeling inspired and uplifted in this bitch. Okay? Because that's the energy that it's all about. That's what I'm sending to y'all. That's how I feel. But your affirmation says, I can always change for the better, okay? There's always room for improvement. We are all learning. We are all learning together. Each one teach one. I know more in some areas. Some of y'all know more in, in areas that I don't. We all teaching. We all learning. We all healing together. We in this shit together, collective. We soul family. We soul tribe. You feel me? Like, come on, baby. You got me. I got you. You look out for me. I'm going to look out for you period so make sure that y'all invest in time into people that want to see you heal that want to see you grow that pour into you just as much as you pour into them and understand that you can always change for the better there's always room for improvement you don't know everything it's always more knowledge to seek it's always more knowledge to gain more wisdom to gain more things to learn more creative energy to come into you it's, it's always room for improvement it's always room for lessons it's always room for more knowledge always 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 okay be teachable is what i just heard okay spirit wants y'all to be teachable be teachable okay <laughs> shit it says four 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 okay it says four 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 triumph okay all that hard work is about to pay off i know that's right okay i ain't doing this shit for nothing okay you you told god you said listen i ain't doing this shit for nothing it's gonna have to pay off this shit gonna have to pay off God said, would you just hold, would you just shut up and hold it down for a minute or two? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's how me and God talk. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I promise you that's how we talk. God funny. He funny. Okay? God funny. He pop, excuse my French, but he pop a lot of shit. <laughs> okay? Like, God be telling me to sit my ass down. He be like, would you sit your ass down? Don't I always come through for your silly ass? And I be like, yeah, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want you to hurry up. <laughs> God's so sick of me. He love me though. He love me. Okay, but we got 44, 44 triumph. Okay. <laughs> it says all that hard work is about to pay off. Your angels want you to know that they see you and that your steadfast commitment to your goals is truly inspirational. Get ready to bask in the sweet, abundant glow of success. Okay, baby. It says achievements and success, dedication paying off, feeling proud of yourself and looking at the big picture. Do y'all feel proud of yourselves? Are y'all celebrating y'all achievements and accomplishments? A lot of y'all had everything working against y'all and y'all still came out as a victor. Y'all still came out victorious. Y'all still came out on top. Y'all still succeeding. Y'all still reaching y'all goals and achieving great success with all the odds against you. Like, come on, baby. Use a warrior, use a motherfucking soldier. Use a soldier. Use a soldier in this bitch. Your affirmation says, What is meant for me will find its way to me. Period. What is meant for me will find its way to me. What is meant for me will find its way to me. 
what is meant for me will find its way to me. And I feel like your person, your soulmate, your twin, your other half, your better half, your true love, your kingdom spouse, okay? That motherfucker finding their way to you. Somebody manifesting y'all rabbit asses right now. And when I tell you, you and this person are tight, like y'all are stuck together, okay? It's giving everything. It's giving they make you better. I'm telling you, this is the one, dog. You gonna be like, yo, I never thought I could love somebody the way I love them. <laughs> That's how y'all gonna feel. <laughs> I never thought I could love like this, man. I ain't know what love was until I met them. <laughs> That's what some of y'all gonna be saying. That's gonna be part of y'all vows. I can hear y'all asses right now. I ain't know what love was until I met Cheryl. You know, she just came in and she changed my life. She changed my world. <laughs> Somebody named could be Cheryl. Okay, shout out to Cheryl. You getting your man, bitch. But anyways, we got 444. It says protection. Let me stop playing with y'all. Okay, but I'm dead ass though. Somebody named really could be Cheryl because I just I just channeled that name out of nowhere. All right, we got four, four, four. Some of y'all could be finding out, okay, that somebody is in the hospital for attacking y'all. And it could be one of your karmics, okay? So there's a karmic from your masculine side or a karmic from your side or shit, maybe from both y'all sides, okay? The hospital full of fucking beds right now. But I'm telling you, there's some karmics here that attacked y'all tried to attack your health or tried to get you to be in like some sort of accident tried to get you to be in some a shitty fucking situation where you actually are harmed in some way these motherfuckers are going to be on stretchers somebody here's going to have to call them ems the paramedics to come get a nigga like somebody here is going to be hospitalized due to some sort of backfires they're going to find themselves in some sort of accident or something i promise you somebody here breaking limbs out this bitch somebody here could even be breaking their arm their leg it's something here going on where somebody was wishing that shit on you and baby when i tell you somebody here is going to be getting rolled out stretched out on a motherfucking stretcher hospitalized i see you i v you looking sorry okay like these motherfuckers is going out bad they looking sad and they real mad i promise you all right because you super protective 444 protection period it says wow hard work and an abundance mindset looks so amazing on you You've really been putting in the effort, laying that hard work, groundwork for amazing growth and abundance. The universe loves someone who, vi who vibrates at the frequency of gratitude. So clap yourself on the back and stick with it. Your, okay, that shit don't ever make sense. So clap yourself on the back. Okay, clap for yourself and pat yourself on the back, God damn it. <laughs> it says, and stick with it. You're on the right path to manifest your desires through hard work and intentionality. Your angels are watching over you, protecting you and your dreams, okay? And you about to be out here living your dreams. It's not as hard as it may seem. You got to work to get the cream on your host, your mercy, on your feet. You got to win yourself. It's all or nothing. Give your everything. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? live your dreams who sings that song that shit is from um fuck yo that i just channeled that and it came out of nowhere yo these downloads this channeling been coming out of nowhere bro um that saved the last dance live your dreams it's not as hard as it may seem is that is that fucking save the last dance that's either save the last dance or cheetah girls child Somebody correct me. I think it's um Save the Last Dance. But yeah, live your dream. It's not as hard as it may seem. You got to work to get the cream, okay? And that's exactly what y'all doing, okay? Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Boom. Y'all about to come into some money, too. I told you, you and your person, y'all about to run it up. But I'm hearing you got to work to get the cream. That's one song. And then I just heard cream get the money dollar dollar bill y'all 
Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> Somebody here could be from Queens as well. Somebody here could be a Wu-Tang fan. Okay, shout out to all my Wu-Tang fans. My real, true Wu-Tang fans. Not y'all motherfuckers that just jumped on a bandwagon once the Wu-Tang show came out. I'm talking about the real Wu-Tang fan. The, the real Wu-Tang fans. What's up, Soul Tribe? Okay? What's up, Soul Tribe? Okay? Peace to the number seven. Everybody else get the 43911. You feel me? Come on. Let's get mathematical with it. Shout out to Method Man. I know Method Man is a Pisces. Somebody here could be a Pisces. Okay? But yes. Period. You got to work to get the cream. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Protection, capability, and determination. Hard work yielding amazing rewards. Reassurance that you are loved and supported. Celebrating your wins. Period. The affirmation says a river of abundance flows through me. Baby, a river of abundance flows through you, collective. Is you dead ass? Is you dead ass? <laughs> like, that's amazing, bro. That's amazing, sis. A river of, ab of abundance flows through you? Like, goddamn, cream, get the money. This is what I've been saying. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Cash rules everything around me, okay? You leveling the fuck up. And everybody and they mama know it. And people acting like they don't really see it. They ain't happy for you. They ain't trying to show that they hating and shit. But you feel it and shit. God is separating you from people because you leveling up. Some of y'all have been like just falling out with people. Motherfuckers just stopped talking to y'all. You just outgrowing people left and right. I'm telling you, God is revealing everybody heart around you because he's, he has to separate you before this level up. Like literally God got to show you everybody heart because everybody can't come with you, collective. I'm hearing everybody can't come with you, dog. They cannot fucking come. They cannot get an invitation. These motherfuckers can't even get a to-go plate, a souvenir, a motherfucking postcard. God don't want these bitches to have shit. He has revealed every fucking body to you so that you can move accordingly. A lot of people are getting left behind. They're not coming with you. But we got 1144. I'm hearing y'all going to the promised land. I actually seen a meme like that the other day. I have to find it. I'm going to post it on my community tab. Y'all are fucking leveling up and these motherfuckers cannot come. And they know they can. And that's why they just watching and hating, talking shit, doing what they do best, what they dry rotted asses. But we got 1144 leveling up. It says the best decisions are made from a place of peace, of stability. Check in on your foundations. How are you, how are you, keeping, the, um, how are you keeping yourself grounded and centered? Are there any needs you may have been neglecting? Prioritize your inner work. Pour your whole heart into whatever it is you're working on. We promise all that labor will pay off in the long run. Any positive adjustments you can make to your habits help to cultivate a life of greater happiness and reward. It says you're finding a sense of stability and peace. You're doing the heart and the work. You're breaking up stale routines in favor of healing practices. You're putting your heart into work you're proud of. Your affirmation says I level up my life by changing one thing at a time. Period. And this already spoke of you like making healthier choices, getting into healthy routines, healthier habits, healthier lifestyle, right? Like you guys are making healthier choices, changing one thing at a time and leveling up your life in the process of doing that. This is really beautiful, man. This is why God really be blessing y'all. This is why he be coming through for us because he see us doing the work. God help those that help themselves. I will forever tell people that shit. I will forever live by that shit. 13, 21 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all could be seeing 3, 2, 1. Somebody here could be born on the 13th of a month as well. Somebody here could be seeing angel number 333, 13, 33 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all seeing 333. Somebody here could be born in March. Somebody here could be born on the 13th of a month. Somebody here could be a life path number three. But I'm telling you, y'all are connected with God. Like, for real. The Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. Like, y'all are angels. I'm talking to walking, breathing earth angels. No funny. That's that 3-3 three, three energy. That's that earth angel energy. I promise you. What's up, soul tribe? What's up, soul family? Let's get it. 
1414 adventure awaits it says adventure adventure awaits you're getting ready to embark on a brand new journey bringing exciting experiences for better or worse okay she it says you'll be prepared to take on these potentially hectic times if you keep the idea of going with the flow in mind but i don't really feel like y'all got hectic times ahead i feel like this shit is new and exciting is liberating is fun you got good vibes on the way collective it says you leaving your comfort zone so it could be a little scary for some of y'all because you're gonna be leaving your comfort zone all right you gotta trust god you gotta be ready 1441 on the clock look at all these synchronicities okay 1441 on the clock like shit all right <laughs> But it says you leaving your comfort zone, okay? But you got to be flexible. Be open to learning. You might love where you end up. That's what it says. Y'all going to love where y'all end up, period. Y'all going to the motherfucking promised land. Y'all going to the top. Y'all on y'all way up, okay? You on your motherfucking way up, Jefferson style. Somebody's name could be Jefferson. Somebody's last name could be Jefferson. Somebody love to watch Flow of the Evans, Flow of the Evans in them, okay? If you know, you know. All right, some of y'all love to watch old school shit, old school TV sitcoms and shit. But y'all moving up, okay? Good times, good times, okay? Florida Evans. Somebody last name could be Evans or Jefferson. Somebody could be from Florida. Somebody here love oranges or orange juice, okay? Like, I'm channeling so much shit right now. Something significant about oranges, orange juice. Somebody here could have an orange tree in a, in a backyard or somebody's parents has an orange tree or somebody grew up with an orange tree in a backyard or some shit like that. Collective, some of y'all also going to be moving into a beautiful home with a lot of property, a lot of land, and you're going to be having fruit trees and shit in your yard. Some of y'all got your own garden and all that. And all that okay people say money don't grow on trees but god damn it for you it do she god said for you it do money trees yeah bitch <laughs> all right for reals for real for real money grow on trees for y'all i don't know what y'all out here doing what type of candles y'all lighting what type of prayers y'all saying but i'm hearing that that shit grows on trees for you it says you are embarking on new adventures, entering an era of excitement, balance, and flexibility, and challenges leading to growth. I don't stress about how things will turn out. Yeah, y'all don't stress about shit. Why? Because you know that God got you, period. You know that God got you. Ain't nothing to stress about. What you stressing for? <laughs> what you stressing for? You give all your cares, your fears, and your worries to Christ. Ain't no stressing. You forever feeling blessed. You straight bless. You just collecting these blessings. Ain't no stressing when you collecting blessings. Period. And these karmics about to they, these karmics finna learn a lesson. <laughs> Here we go with that sun energy. I told you y'all motherfuckers is happy. Didn't I say something significant about sunflowers earlier? And God damn it, we got the sun card here again in, in this deck this time with sunflowers. Y'all shining bright like the sun. Daughters of Oshun are watching me. Shout outs to all the beautiful empresses, the goddesses out there that come across this message that are daughters of Oshun. You have found your family. What's up, soul family? You have found your tribe. You belong here. This message is for you, baby. Somebody here is a Capricorn. Somebody here is a Capricorn. You are a butterfly. You are a sunflower. You are beautiful. You are radiant. Somebody here is a Capricorn. Somebody here is a Libra. Okay? Somebody here is a Virgo. Somebody here is a Leo. Okay? Yes. Somebody here has strong Aquarius placements or Sagittarius placements. You guys are beautiful. It says, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead, baby. Yes. Transformation. You transforming. You leveling up, making positive changes. You know that the change starts with you. A lot of y'all have taken on the role of the generational curse breaker. A lot of y'all, y'all vibrate much harder than your family members. Your role is powerful. It's important. Like, you really setting the tone. You changing shit around for more generations to come that's going to follow after you. You healing so much that the generations to come after you are going to be blessed tremendously. Like, they're not going to have to experience certain traumas anymore because you you breaking those curses. You breaking that trauma. Like, y'all fucking work here is necessary. 
That's why motherfuckers can't take you out because literally your life purpose, your soul's mission is necessary. You healing generations to come. Like, God ain't about to let nothing happen to you. Like, you out here healing generations to come and these motherfuckers out here think that they gonna play God in your life and do something about it. Child, please. We just sit they rabbit asses down. But it says, reach out for the power and strength to make changes and you are enriching your life. You becoming the person you want to be. Yeah, you're connecting with your higher self, collective. I'm hearing that you guys are connecting with your higher self. Yes. I saw a meme the other day that said, the most beautiful thing is the fact that you've become the person that would have protected you as a child. And I thought that was such a beautiful, powerful message. It said, it's beautiful that you've become the person that would have protected you as a child. I saw that meme and I just was like, whoo, I had to read it a couple times. Okay. Like I love, I love when God just sent me messages, man. Okay. We got more Leo energy here with this lion. This lion card always come out. Same cards be coming out. Cause I know I got the same people that just are loyal and they keep coming back. What's up with all my loyal Leos out there? Shout out to all the loyal Leos. Okay. Shout out to the high vibrating Leos. I know that I got Leos that watch for me, man. I know I do. Leo, I know you in here. I know y'all fucking in here. Okay? Well, some of y'all just got strong Leo in y'all chart. But I know y'all in here because the Leo energy be coming out too strong, dog. But it says you are harnessing the loyal and protective aura of the lion. And you charging ahead magnificently. Yeah, you, char you charging ahead. You are moving forward triumphantly and magnificently, man. The lion spirit is around y'all. There could also be a passed over loved one that may be a Leo that could be supporting you, guiding you, watching over you right now. You guys are coming into union. I said this shit though. Did I not say this? This is what this whole message been about. You and your motherfucking person being together. This shit says, you and I T Y unity. You and I T Y. Okay. You and I T Y. <laughs> Period. It's giving unity. It's giving I love you. You love me. It's giving, oh my God, there goes my baby. Ooh, girl, look at you. I'm hearing Usher, there goes my baby. That's how somebody feel about y'all. When they see y'all, they be like, there go my baby. There go my baby right there. That's my baby right there, man. Look at my baby. There go my baby right there. You be like, daddy, I see you. <laughs> It says, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. I told you. I told you. Y'all are radiating. Y'all are radiant. All right? But you are radiating and attracting great love. You are love collective. You are the embodiment of the epitome of true, real, authentic love. And you're manifesting this. You deserve this. You've earned this. You're worth this. This is a time of divine understanding, peace, and hope. You and your person going to be praying together. I'm telling you, whoever y'all going to be with, like you and this person going to pray together, work together, build together, run it the fuck up together. You know, like y'all just going to be making beautiful memories and shit together. Like everything is just, it's just togetherness, it's oneness. It's just powerful. It's just so much power in this energy, so much power in this message. Man, this shit just got me a little bit higher. I'm telling you, I'm vibrating so high, y'all. And it's like that message just like gave me some, it just, it just put me up a little bit higher. And I just told y'all, I felt like I couldn't get no higher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit just gave me a little kick. It just gave me a little push. Like I just went up to the next cloud. <laughs> All right, let me stop fucking with y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all feel the positive vibes. We vibrating so fucking high on this side. Collective, I love you. Congratulations to you and your kingdom spouse. It's time for y'all to run it the fuck up. We manifesting this. I'm putting this energy out into the universe for y'all. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to help y'all manifest it together. I'm telling y'all, run it up. It's time for your divine union, period. Peace.